Hi, I'm Stuart. Hi, I'm Chris. And welcome to Sirenet Television. Okay, I'll try that once, I'll do it again. See, I'm taller than you now, more or less. <laughs> right. So, we're here to talk about a brand new product from Code 3. Mm -hmm. It's the CB7265 series beacon. Shall I step down off my soapbox? No, I like it. Yeah, okay, all right. So this one here, it happens to be the CR, mm -hmm. and this is the CB. You got it. Okay. And this is the only way that these come, so it does sound like it's really specific right. and a really limited product, and that is actually the case here. So you get to have a red or a blue with a clear polycarbonate lens. Right. And with these having their compact size, some people like them for ATVs, UTVs, but really I'm thinking on fire trucks and brush trucks. That's where these guys can really have a lot of lighting output, but they don't have to have a bigger size where they might get knocked around. Oh, excellent, Chris. Somebody gave Chris coffee this morning. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is gonna have you go over to the workbench and you'll get a chance to tell everybody what you just told me. Deceiving with their compact size, once they are activated by your vehicle's 12 to 24 volt electrical system, this is the amazing intensity that you will find with the CB7265 beacons. Again, you have red and you have blue only. What I like about these is there's over 20 different flash patterns that you can select from and they're synchronizable, but not just only with themselves, but Code 3's other wonderful line of products like the MR6 and the Chase series. So by combining these, you can have a whole nice synchronized warning package on your vehicle. So that's where you could mix in other elements of white and amber, just letting these take care of the red and blue color necessity. Right now, a really nice rotating pattern. So I like how you could take these for new vehicles, get that retro look, or if you have older dated products you need to get replaced with something new, modern, perfect way to do it. So right now I have the synchronized yellow to yellow trigger wire connection, both of them power and grounded behind the bench here. If I wanna make changes to the flash patterns, that is where the blue trigger wire is gonna come in place. It's not selectable, switchable by positive 12 volts, but reverse of that, a ground source. So that's kind of what we've come accustomed to from code three. So keeping these synced right now, I'm gonna change this one and this one. So blue to ground, And go ahead, by having that combined on the back side, actually did a simultaneous changeover. So here is a nice combination of a rotate and quad flash. So actually, I really like that, how it's combining the best of both worlds. But I'm gonna go ahead and make another change now and just go through some of this for you, because even myself, I love playing with the flash patterns on these products. But when it comes to these two different styles that you can select from in the mounting, these are the flat mount. You can also have a flange eliminated version. So what you are going to find there is actually just the beacon in a pipe mounted format. So something really neat with these beacons is you don't have the flange, you can have it on a pole and have it rised up on your vehicle. Steady burn is what you have switched into now. So yes, you can use them for just a constant 360 indicator light or running them into a secondary flasher module. So you can tie them in with another manufacturer's products that way. There we go. Just something nice and simple, an alternating pattern that we have going on here. Let's go through this a little bit more. All right, so like I was mentioning, pipe mount. So example on that is going to be just on the basin here. My gosh, that's bright when it's facing me. So right inside here is a three quarter inch pipe threading, not the one inch standard that you might be thinking of. So just go ahead, drop the four wire pigtail harness down and through that pipe extension and beacon goes ahead, twist right into place. Here's a crafty part of this beacon that Code 3 has done. And when it comes to the pipe mounting aspect, the four little screws on the basin, those are gonna go out of the way and do this step before you finish your wiring and sync things up. But give this a nice little pull and the plastic flange, well, that comes out of the way. So now this looks nice and proper when it's situated on a pole. Just put the four little screws back into the die cast base. That way they don't get lost in the future. If you're going to surface mount this with the flange, just go ahead, line up the basin. Boop, press it back in, lines up nice and snug. And there you have it. 
Now these guys, they are so tiny, but when it comes to their output, SAE Class 1 certified, they are IP67 rated, so that's going to be with the resistance to the elements and condensation, but other things that you can do with these is use them in California. They do meet a Title 13 compliance, and for the other ones that they meet, well, that's something that you can find in the tech specs on the product page. When it comes to mounting, we know that you are very crafty at that. So we got a little mock-up here with these great little beacons atop the truck. So actually, I kind of like this. So thinking about something that could go into a beach rescue aspect, you could do a single beacon or do a pair of them. Also with that threading in the basin, you could also just get rid of this if you didn't have accessories, pull them out off the side, and that way your beacons are up nice and elevated for that 360 degree warning power. Something else that I've kind of been thinking about when it comes to these and a set of reds in tow and recovery services, some folks can run that color scheme. Big, big truck, really need to have some nice clearance lights on it, but you want to keep it compact so other things or mini bar set just is going to get in the way. These little beacons are going to be perfect for that. And other avenues where beacons just of normal size stature can't quite fit, again, these are really the smallest out there and the brightest that we can offer you through SirenNet. So there we have it, a great look at a nice compact beacon with a brilliant dazzlement of lighting output. Well, there you have it. Chris giving an overview with an overview, which is pretty darn good, actually. It's not a bad light. It has got a variety of different option availabilities. As you said, pipe mm -hmm. mount or tread mount, if that's for those of you who are in that world. Well, I'm Stuart. I'm Chris. And I'm on my soapbox. Thanks for watching Sony Television. Have a great day.